Ron, you, your first job is down here in the town square. Uh, well, uh, right out here in front of the depot, yes. Come the main time? And the parade and so forth. Do, come get time. Busy. Okay. So long, Ron. Thanks. What the fuck is come time, dude? What what is that emote? Ew, dude. What the f yo, you guys are yo, I'm gonna revoke some moderators uh, privileges on emotes, I swear to God. For coming out. To all who come to this happy place, welcome. <laughs> In a war between the whites and reds, would you remain an Indian? You fight for what you believe in. Oh my God, dude. Movies were so fucking crazy. I got to pee so bad. Movies were so fucking crazy back then. So do I. 20 years ago, this Thanksgiving, the first President Bush issued the first official presidential pardon for a turkey. Fine looking bird. Fine looking bird, isn't it? President Truman was the first president to pardon the turkey. Harry Truman did not grant the pardon. He refused. He was a tough cookie. But in some ways, the tradition actually began 83 years earlier when President Lincoln received a turkey for Christmas holiday. Ben Franklin was upset that the bald eagle was named our national symbol because he wanted it to be the turkey. And he said, the turkey is a much more respectable bird and a true original native of America. You are the emissary from Washington? Yes, sir. We have provided millions of acres of land for what are called the preservations, or the reservations, I should say, uh, maybe we made a mistake. Maybe we should not have humored him in, in that wanting to stay in that kind of primitive lifestyle. Maybe we should have said, no, come join us, be citizens. Tribal leaders say they'll continue to oppose the project which threatens their health and their way of life. Chairman Dave Archambault told the Human Rights Council in Geneva that the controversial oil pipeline threatens the rights of Native American people. Some of them became very wealthy because some of those reservations uh, were overlaying great pools of oil. And you can get very rich pumping oil. And, uh, so I don't know what their complaint might be. It happened. It's, it was just a genocide. And they tried to uh, wipe us out over the greed of the money. Now, to understand the crimes, you need to understand that uh, when they took place, which was in the early 20th century, the Osage Indians of Oklahoma at that time were millionaires. Oil had been discovered under their land, and prospectors had to pay the Osage for leases and royalties. Take the oil. Just take it. From 1910 to 1930, hundreds of Indians died under suspicious circumstances in what the Osage call the Reign of Terror. <laughs> Mr. President, what did you, Mr. President, what did you know about money going to the conference? All I know is this has just been a wonder, so I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Mr. He's not looking forward. Mr. President, how much trouble are you in because of this contra revelation? <laughs> What? Dude. Okay, dude. Straight up. Everything has gotten progressively worse. Don't get me wrong. Okay? Like, it's not like in the pre-neoliberal, pre-Ronald Reagan era, things were incredible for the working class, especially if you were working class and, and not white. You, your situation was, like, worse. Marginally, it has improved a little bit for you with respect to the rest of the working class, but ultimately, like... Everything has gotten so much worse, including the way that the media operates. And what I mean by that is, like, there was a point in time when these dudes at least were, like, relatively contentious. Like, can you imagine? 
The Reagan administration's determination to sell arms secretly to Iran and to help guerrillas fighting the Marxist government of Nicaragua despite congressional objections was the engine that drove the Iran-Contra policy. Secretly, Lieutenant Colonel Oliver North devised a scheme to finance the Contras by overcharging Iran for the weapons. I think it was a neat idea. <laughs> oh, remember? Have you studied sociology? Is this why you're into analyzing things? Is what? Double check for some manga TOS. I don't think Vic Berg is gonna put manga TOS in here, dude. Come on. Disney's Persian Resort, the Iranian-themed hotel. It is said that in 1978, the Iranian Shah Mohammad Reza Shah Pahlavi offered to fund the Persian hotel to make it happen. However, in the following year, he would be overthrown during the Iranian Revolution, rendering the offer moot. That same revolution would kick off a second oil crisis in 1979, causing the price of oil to more than double. The new video is going off. Oh my fucking god, dude. The video has 5.5 million views, dude. That's insane. It has already hit 600 million likes and only has 600 downvotes. Have you covered any of the indigenous land defender stuff happening in BC this week? No, that was 16 minutes ago. Reagan was insane. I just listened to the dollop episode on him. Guy was losing his head throughout his entire presidency. Dude, he literally had dementia. Or uh, was it Alzheimer's or dementia? It was dementia, right? I thought it was dementia. Maybe... Alzheimer's is a type of dementia, but I, I thought dementia was like specific. I would love to hear you on the dollop. I'd go on the dollop. I like the dollop. I like those guys. I listen to him from time to time. I think they're a pretty good podcast. Relevant Pepe. Wait, this is the one time American that was actually pretty good. North. What? I can't believe you kids don't know about the great patriot Ollie North. Was there TOS in this? And then he became the president of the NRA, remember? Yeah, he, they, w dude, America is literally just, we are such a fucking insane country. Just, I always urge the Amerabrained in the chat, okay? The differently abled Amerabrained in the chat to fucking remove themselves for a brief moment from that Amerabrain rot and just think about it from the point of view of like an outside country. Just think, like, just always substitute what America is doing with what China is doing, okay? Just, like, how would you feel if that was going on? And in some instances, that is what, go what goes on in China, right? Insane that Iran-Contra was in the leaving reality section into that conspiracy chart? Yeah, I know, which is fucking psychotic. So is, like... By the way, they said like, oh, the Contras were selling blow. 
they were genocidal, okay? They were a death squad. They were a genocidal death squad. They briefly show landmines for kids. But like, I mean, obviously this is like an informative little baby video. It's pretty funny and it's pretty good. But, you know, they were... They did mention at least the fucking uh, landmines. It's covered in the newspaper. Stan just omits it deliberately. Absolutely is wild. I grew up thinking Reagan was a great president. Yeah, that's, that's a mirror brain. That's what that is. When you are American and your brain is fried from being American. You are stead a healthy diet of propaganda and manufactured consent. And you think Reagan was like, hey, he was kind of a cool cat, right? He was a, you know, he was a Hollywood celeb and uh, he's beloved. And, and also his wife uh, was great at uh, giving blowjobs or whatever the fuck people talk about. You know what I mean? Meanwhile, it's like, no, he's a purely evil piece of shit. And so was George H.W. Bush too. And it's like, you just hear that from your fucking parents and stuff too. And, uh, and you think like that is just what's normal. <sighs> Crap, that's the end. My uncle was arguing last year during the election with me. He told me that I just couldn't understand because I was liberal, but Trump would just go down in history as the greatest president of all time, just like Reagan, he said. And he was serious. Brother, depending on where America is heading, that could very well be the case. Think about how liberals participated in the whitewashing of George W. Bush's track record and how they still continue to do so. Why did they do that? Because Donald Trump was worse. He was so much worse. He wasn't, okay? George W. Bush is probably the worst American president of all time, most likely. I would say the worst administration uh, in American history, okay? Most deaths. <coughs> um, Ronald Reagan is a close second. Like, I don't know which one's worse, to be honest, Reagan or... or or Bush. I mean, they're, they're all pretty bad. But like Donald Trump doesn't come near these motherfuckers is what I'm saying. But the point is, the Republican Party will get worse and worse throughout the years. Okay? It will get worse and worse throughout the years. And because they're getting worse and worse throughout the years, you will think to yourself, the prior Republican presidents were not as bad. You know, the prior administrations were not as bad, right? As we, you know, dissent. I was going to say slowly dissent or creepingly dissent towards fascism, but we're just fucking sprinting towards it. Once again, causing a financial impact not only on Disney, but tourism as a whole. President Richard Nixon, in the midst of the Watergate scandal, famously declared, I'm not a crook to a group of newspaper editors gathered at Walt Disney World in Orlando. Because people have got to know whether or not their president's a crook. Well, I'm not a crook. I've earned everything I've got. How about this? Isn't this a beautiful place? And how about that mule? Thank you, girls. Wait for me in Adventureland. The website will work like a champ. The website's going to get fixed. This year, for the first time, thousands of people voted on the White House website to name the national turkey. He was frustrated by the website. Stars and stripes beat out pumpkin and cranberry. And it was a neck-to-neck -neck race. Biscuits and his running mate, Gravy. It was a close race. You might say it was neck and neck. Uh, today, we've had a national tragedy. Two airplanes have crashed into the World Trade Center and have ordered that the full resources of the federal government go to hunt down and to find those folks. Initially, the terrorists may burrow deeper into caves and other entrenched hiding places. Our military action is also designed to clear the way for sustained. Wait. I was playing WoW after Rittenhouse got released and they were saying fascism is better than communism. Like, actually, Shred Up thought that it's okay to have fascism if you're defeating communism. You know, a lot of fucking people in Germany thought that. All those people were, you know, killed. 
by the Allied forces. A lot of them from the Communist forces. That is precisely the same operating principle that uh, wealthy aristocrats decided, wealthy, uh, um, you know, corporation owners have thought. They saw a rising tide of socialism around the world, and they saw it as an ever-present threat to their... Um, they saw that as an ever-present threat to uh, their, their position and uh, their, their uh, capital. It's currently very similar to the Weimar Republic just before the rise of Hitler, a center-right coalition which is scared of communism and caving more and more ground to the Nazis, and eventually a weak president, Hindenburg, just crumbled. Comprehensive and relentless operations to drive them out and bring them to justice. Where's the vice president? I don't know. Uh, they aren't telling us. What I can tell you is that the vice president has been taken to a safe and secure and undisclosed location. Cheney was quail hunting with Harry Whittington in Texas when he accidentally fired a shotgun, not realizing it was pointed at Whittington. The United States will hunt down and punish those responsible for these cowardly acts. Ultimately, uh... I'm the guy who pulled the trigger that fired the round that hit Harry. Cheney's shot sprayed as many as 200 birdshot pellets into Whittington's face. It's not Harry's fault. My family and I are deeply... <laughs> Bro, he apologized to Dick Cheney. Sorry for all that Vice President Cheney and his family have had to go through this past week, and we hope that he will continue to come to Texas and seek the relaxation that he deserves. Some of the birdshot ha appears to have... Uh, moved and lodged into a uh, part of his heart, causing the atrial fib and what we would say is a minor heart attack. And uh, we're going to call Marshmallow and Yen the people's turkey. Z Z Z Z Z Z With the power vested in me as President of the United States, I pardon you. I pardon you this Thanksgiving. Go ahead, take some. <laughs> there you go. Today I will issue a pardon to a pair of very, very handsome birds. The Beautiful feathered friend to the noble turkey. Now, that's a beauty. These two magnificent gobblers were selected from the official presidential flock of 30 turkeys. Some real beauties. You're a real beauty. That beautiful turkey. I've never seen such a beautiful turkey. Here's another beauty. Look at that beautiful, 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 beautiful bird. That's a good looking turkey. Great job. There's a beauty for you. What did the turkey do? What crimes did he commit? I think it's just every year we get together and we throw a bone to the vegans, okay? No pun intended. Or we pardon a turkey and then we kill another turkey, you know what I mean? It's not like there's no crime, it's just that like instead of killing the turkey and eating it, which ends up being a different turkey that you eat anyway, they, as tradition, pardon a turkey. Of course, because we live in America, where we have the highest rate of incarcerated population on the fucking planet, um, usually during the turkey pardoning process, there is like a very real amount of human beings that also are slated for pardons. So there's an ongoing, uh, there's an ongoing bad look, if you will, uh, with respect to uh, like, why aren't you pardoning other people that are human beings and instead engaging in this, like, symbolic, silly bitch shit? Um. It's a beauty. Wow. Big bird. It's a big bird. Big bird. Big Bird. I I'm going to stop the subsidy to PBS. Big Bird. Big Bird. That's the biggest there is. Big Bird tweeted out, I, I just got the COVID vaccine, and, and boy, does my wing hurt. Uh-oh, that looks like a dangerous bird. That's a big turkey. You don't have to touch it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the U.S. uses the turkey pardon tradition to literally mock and satirize those disaffected by the prison system. We literally take an hour out of federal time to take more consideration to the burden and prisoners. Straight up. That's the truth. That's exactly what happened.
like during this administration, just imagine there were like, there were hundreds of Muslim people that were stripped of their habeas corpus law, uh, rule, uh, habeas corpus liberties, their, their civil liberties to a right to a fair trial simply because they were Muslim. Some of them got waterboarded. Some of them were tortured relentlessly simply because they were Muslim during this Turkey part. And that was what was going on. And this motherfucker was just like, you know, kissing a Turkey and, and, and rubbing it and shit while uh, his administration was literally fucking engaging in one of the worst instances of, of, uh, you know, one of the worst instances of like mass surveillance, uh, based purely on racial discrimination. <laughs> President Donald Trump, who wants to bring evil into this country, and he is bringing evil into this country. Amen. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Before you mock the system that frees a turkey and tortures humans, please keep in mind that the turkey is white. It's true. Wow. That's a strong bird. Butterball and his alternate bread. The alternate, his name is Freedom. Now, Freedom is not here because he's in a secure and undisclosed location. Bro, that's like straight up Obabe making a I'm gonna fucking drone strike the Jonas Brothers uh meme you know what I mean it's like dog you can't you can't like that's insane dude that's so fucking nasty that's such a nasty thing to fucking joke about and it was a close election you might say it was neck and neck so help me God I got you. No, no, you're you're okay. This happens when I talk too long. I'm going to keep at least, at least excuse me, one turkey off of the Thanksgiving dinner table. Cobbler and gobbler. Is peace here or just liberty? Just liberty's here, but peace is back here somewhere. Tater and tot. As many of you know. I have been very active in overturning a number of executive actions by my predecessor. However, I have been informed by the White House Counsel's Office that Tater and Tot's pardons cannot, under any circumstances, be revoked. We have to bring back the death penalty. They have to pay the ultimate price. They have to pay the ultimate price. They can't do this. After everything that's been going on in Washington these past few months, it's great to finally be sharing a stage uh, with someone I can call a turkey and get away with it. This may not be the only turkey I've had in my administration, and that's one less turkey in Washington. Very strange birds. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Country has never been more successful. Our military. Why is why are people cheering for the death penalty, brother? Because they're Christians, homie. Is they're good ass Christians, brother? That's why. That's what rebuilt. good Christians do. We captured the number one terrorist in the world. The United States has conducted an operation that killed Osama bin Laden and killed the number one terrorist in the world, Al Baghdadi. Only America would set aside a special holiday just for the purpose of giving thanks. And so now I have a task. And that is to grant a full presidential pardon to May and Flower. They will be shortly flown to Disney World, where they will serve as honorary grand marshals for the Thanksgiving Day Parade. For the record, like, I don't have a problem with, like, silly little traditions like this. It's just that, like, when you're the one doing it, Okay, At the very least you could like, you know, stop doing capital punishment. That could be cool. Like, hey, how about you pardon some fucking, you know, people that are slated to be executed. Like, you know, one of these, one of these times, dude, one of these fucking times, you know, let's. 
Let's pardon the homies for once. Dude, oh come on, dude. Monkey paw curls. All the Blackwater guys are pardoned. Wait, first of all, that already happened. You can't double pardon the Blackwater guys. And uh, secondly, not like that, dude. Not like that. Okay, that's not what I meant. No way I'm cutting this habit cold turkey. <laughs> Simply put, these strikes have saved lives. Good one. Huh? That was pretty funny. So that's that. Thanks for coming. Have a great Thanksgiving. God bless. Thank you all. Well, you know, in, in our family, nobody really talks about politics, which, you know, may seem unusual to some, but uh, it will be certainly at that time of groundedness and of uh, knowing and realizing. No shot. That is fucking, that's hilarious, dude. They're just grinding up turkeys. Sorry, vegans. Trigger warning to the vegans and being a part of what really matters and that's family and friends and um that's what i look forward to on thanksgiving day and on christmas day what are you gonna get taught for christmas oh probably uh gas money for the snow machine that's what he has for every year just give me gas money <laughs> oh they're just slitting them they're just slitting them they're just slitting them they're just <laughs> slitting their fucking throats sarah palin on her peak was so fucking hot yeah uh, uh, yeah just her peak